there's absolutely no reason why pork sausages should remain in the realms of all things traditional and British, because they actually make wonderful Mediterranean-inspired pasta sauces. The simple sausage pasta uses ingredients we ordinarily have in our freezer or pantry, which is really perfect for a midweek meal. To make it, you're going to need pork or chicken sausage, a can of chopped tomatoes and some tomato pesto, a little bit of sugar, chicken stock, cream, salt and pepper. You're also going to need onion, garlic, fennel seeds and chili flakes, and then some penne pasta and some fresh parsley. I'm as keen on sort of sausage and mash as everyone. But actually, we've got to get more inventive with our sausages because they taste so delicious. Actually, if you just use the sausage meat to make sauces, to make crumbles, you've sort of got half the flavor sort of going already. We've got some chopped onion here, and I'm going to have a little bit of garlic. This dish can be equally fabulous with more spicy sausages, like a Cumberland sausage or a Lancashire sausage or any of those that sometimes you find. All right, and then just use a bigger knife to kind of more finely chop the garlic. Keep that aside, otherwise it'll burn too fast. Just toss the onion. Olive oil is a must for this because the oil sort of becomes part of the sauce. Right, pop that in there and give it a good stir. Now, you don't want to um, brown the onion too much, so cook it over a relatively low heat in quite a liberal amount of oil. And while that's doing its thing, may as well get the sausages. So as I say, you know, whatever kind of sausage, and if chicken sausage is what you prefer, it also works very well. Sadly, it doesn't have quite as much fat in it. Um, so you have to keep an eye on it a little bit more. They, are, they remind me of nursery rhymes and things, sausages, for some reason. You know, the dog always runs away with a string of sausages, doesn't it? I suppose you could just use ordinary pork mince, but somehow, well, then you wouldn't get to do this wonderful sausage activity, but also, I think the flavouring in sausages and the ratio of fat to mince just somehow makes the whole thing taste that much better. All right, that's the end of that. Let's toss those casings away. Okay, I'm going to add the garlic. And then I'm going to add a little bit of dried chilli. This is absolutely optional. And then, like I did before, I'm going to add a little bit of fennel seed. And now you're going to just break the sausage meat up into the pan. So a bit like you're making bolognese or cooking with mince. You just need to sort of break it up for yourself to make life slightly easier. And then I'm just going to start and do it in batches. It's not a bad idea to do this over a relatively high heat because it'll just sort of make the crumble happen a bit faster and because you've got all that fat, the fat renders out a little bit quicker. But you do want to do it in batches because that's going to help you. Otherwise, it's all going to boil and not work out as planned. So as soon as it starts to sort of kind of sear on the outside, you could add the next batch. So it's the kind of thing you really got to do with a glass of wine and just kind of enjoy the process. This is actually a pasta sauce you don't see that often, and I'm not sure why, because it's quite an affordable thing to cook. And it's full of flavor, but sort of not excessively so. So it's a real sort of family crowd pleaser. I'm going to season this with some salt and naturally a bit of pepper. And then I've got a can of chopped tomatoes. And then where there's a tomato, as we know, there's invariably a bit of sugar. Here it is. And then just a little bit of chicken stock. You could use vegetable stock too, if that's what you have, but I wouldn't use a beef stock or anything. Pork's quite a light meat. You don't want to overpower everything. So while this is cooking away, I've cooked some penne. You cook it in lots and lots of salted boiling water, as per usual. What you don't, however, do is put oil in the water. And as South Africans, we tend to do that because we're paranoid it's going to stick. So instead, what you do is you cook your pasta in the salted boiling water, and then you drain it. And when you're ready to toss it in, just put some boiling water from the kettle over it to loosen it up, and then toss it into your sauce. This looks fabulous. I'm now going to add a little bit of um, tomato pesto. And I do like a bit of tomato pesto. And I'm going to chop up some parsley, sort of a good handful. Let's just pop that into there. Now, it's not strictly necessary again, but, you know, why not? Just add a little splash of cream. It really makes it all the more decadent. I mean, that is just fantastic. And I'm literally going to put the pasta into the pot. Just stir it. If you're lucky enough to have leftovers, which is unlikely, but you never know, 
then it just gets better and better. The flavors really develop and it makes a wonderful, wonderful office or school lunch. Just stunning. Now I must say, I do feel the need to just have a little bit of a soupçon three, because you know, it's called the, um, well it's not so much the cook's nip, it's the cook's treat. Mm. Oh, I defy everyone not to love it. This simple sausage pasta uses ingredients we ordinarily have in our freezer or pantry, making it just perfect for a midweek meal. I love the sausage pasta, and so does the family.